in the final video of the Jungle Jeopardy series. The world's first Amazon food chain fishing challenge. Starting from worms dug up from the rich jungle soil, work our way up the food chain to small and medium sized live bait fish and then searching for a true jungle giant catfish. We caught some insane species and big fish along the way, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're new. Food Chain Fishing Challenge. This is a popular video on YouTube. It's been done many times before, but never done before in the Amazon jungle. We are gonna start out with some night crawlers, move our way up from small fish, medium fish, to monster fish. Let's see how many species we can catch, how many big fish we can catch, and how long it takes us to complete the ultimate jungle food chain fishing challenge. Stay tuned, hit that like button, let's go catch them. crazy Colombian night crawlers and we're gonna throw out a bunch of worms and hopefully catch something cool. Derek our buddy over there just caught one of the craziest catfish I've ever seen. So we have a little circle hook here, throw that on the hook and we're gonna set our first rod out. Here we go. How many worms do we put in the hook? Fish on. Hey, fish on. Fish on. Drag super loose. Oh, shoot. He's got me in something. Trying to put a second bait out. All right, we got him off. This is going to be a new species. I'm excited to see what this is, man. I got one of those crazy ones, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. <laughs> yes, dude. Holy. <laughs> oh, dude. Like a knife. Like a knife. Dude, I mean, I'm bleeding. Let's get it quick, man. I, I, there's blood all over me. That was pretty stupid. I thought I could put my hand right under here and hold him like that, and he freaking cut me like a knife. Holy smokes, man. Do not mess with the jungle fish. New species of fish. Hey, Ed. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. That is insane. That is a cool fish. Came on the freaking Pen Authority 3500 Fenwick Elite Inshore Rod. That might be the first and only of this that I ever catch in my life. That is awesome, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go, dude. This fish is crazy. I feel like Jeremy Wade right now. First Amazon catfish, and it sure did not disappoint. Look at that freaking fish, man. On the board. Let's see ya. Oh <laughs> yes, bro, give me some nuts. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. And we still have our bait. Okay. That took no time at all. Literally less than five minutes in the water. Same spot again. Pen Authority IPX8 sealed. Watch this. Clean it off nice and good. Get all that dirt and mud off. Good to go. 
Wow. I look at the rod on the right. Fish. Fish on. What we have here? Kind of fighting the same. It's kind of finding the same as the other one. Oh, we got another one. Another crazy fish. Look how, look how slimy the line is. It looks like so mucusy. All right. I'm not touching you, man. Open. Listen to this. He's trying to attack the boat. What are you doing? Have you ever heard a catfish make noises like that? Open your mouth. That is a demon fish, if I've ever seen one. And they all look a little bit different. I imagine keeping this in your aquarium. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it. All right, so I wanna show you guys um, a tight shot of what happened to me. So if you guys see it on his fins right here, on his fins, it's serrated like a knife on the inside, serrated like a knife. And, I, and if you put anything in here, he'll 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 fray you off. That's why we're fishing with wire. Oh man, one more look at him. He's trying to slice me. Got to be super careful handling these fish. I already learned the hard way once. Adrian, just I want you to rub the top of his head. R rub it. Feel it. Dude, isn't that crazy? <laughs> this thing is crazy. He's like a chainsaw blade running down the side. Mother nature is crazy. What'd you say? No way, oh, so apparently these guys have a nickname. They're called the Cayman Killer because Caymans can't even get this thing down. Mother nature has some pretty crazy defense mechanisms. Holy smokes. All right, dude, that's enough harassing you for the camera. What a beautiful fish. Oh, holy smokes. That is a crazy fish, man. Oh. Fish on. That was fast, here we go. Fish on. Oh my gosh, another one, man. They're everywhere. Look at that. He's cutting the boat. He's, he's trying to freaking saw the boat right now. These, these are the worst boga grips I've ever seen in my life. They only open up like a centimeter. This, I can't imagine how much these will go for, would go for in an aquarium store. Look at that. A freaking caiman killer, chainsaw fish. That is insane. All right, dude. <laughs> that is the craziest catch I've ever caught in a worm in my life. See you, buddy. Only in South America. How crazy is that? We've caught enough of that crazy species of catfish. We're gonna buddy boat with Javier and Derek, and we're gonna go try to get another species of catfish. Look at that, we had a nibble on that hook right there. Let's see what else we'll catch. We'll see you guys at the next spot. Guys, look what we're going through to get to the next catfish spot. Turn around real quick, Adrian, show them. Yeah. 
big, thick Colombian night crawler, man. I'm telling you guys, these worms are definitely bred different here. It's like trying to hook through leather. Look at that. Hook full of worms. That's a fish. There we go. Oh no. We got a big fish. We got a big fish. Oh, it's a pocket. Oh. That's a nice pocket. Oh, man. God. Beautiful Paku. Look at that. On the worm. Yeah, 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 we have another fish on. We have another fish on, but it's okay. We're gonna let him run with it. Look at that Paku. Beautiful. On the night crawler. You can see a little piece of it there. That's sick. He did a crazy jump, nice little run in this tiny little creek. There's parrots, there's monkeys all around us. This is one of the coolest things I think I've done on this trip. Species number two on the worm. Nice, Paku. Real quick, let me show you guys why we're using wire. Come zoom in on this. Look at those chompers. They have human-like teeth. And these teeth are sharp as heck. These guys sit underneath trees and they feast on nuts and berries, worms, all sorts of stuff, even fish. We've got quite a few of these in artificial this trip, but we are we have to rig up with wire and a super strong circle hook because these guys will bite through your hook and through your line. Nice, Baka. Sweet. That was cool. That was cool. Species number two on the worms. Oh yeah, that is a tasty meal. Hopefully to a nice catfish. The goal really of this video is to catch a few species. One, tiger shovel nose catfish. Two, red tail catfish. And three, a mystery. You guys have to watch and find out. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But, this creek definitely has some fish in it. Eric is on a big fish here. Look at those ears you guys. Dude, you got a freaking monster. What is it? Oh yeah! Leopard cat! Red tail! It's a red tail! Red tail catfish! Oh my gosh! Oh! Red tail, dude! This is a dream right here, guys. <laughs> oh my! Red tail catfish! Oh my gosh! It's a baby red tail catfish. <laughs> that is a beautiful. Oh man. These guys are super popular aquarium pet. And you can actually find them in the wild down in South Florida. People will throw them in lakes and stuff when they get too big. Listen to them. Oh, red tail, baby. Red tail catfish here in South America. Fish Columbia. On the freaking pen authority. He's a whoopee cushion. <laughs> yes! Guys, bucketless fish, not the bucketless size, but bucketless species. 
the beautiful red and the white. Man, look at that. Little baby red tail catfish. <sighs> go get it, go get your mama. Holy smokes, man. Bucketless red tail catfish. Speechless. We've been here for 15 minutes and already three species caught. Bucketless for Derek, he got a jaguar uh, catfish, a leopard catfish, and uh, just got a red tail. But they said that there's really big ones in here. So we're gonna keep on fishing. Here we go, fish on. There we go. He was just sleeping on it. That's a better one. Oh, what the heck is that? That's a new species right there. He looks sharp. Oh man. I it's the no... same one. Oh no. No, it's a different one. Ow. Dude, yeah. It's another, it's, a, it's another spiky, sharp one. But this one, man, uh, is a little bit different. Be very careful holding him. Guys, this is another, this is definitely related to that other armored catfish that we caught. Look at those spikes. They're smaller, but they're just as deadly. This one's got a very interesting looking mouth, though. If you look at his mouth, it kind of looks like a carp mouth a little bit. That is a freaking cool catfish. Look at that. Another species for me down here on a night crawler. One more top side view. Look at those freaking razor blades coming down the side. This is a fish you do not want to mess with. Every part of him will cut you. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go, fish on. All right, we're hooked up, guys. Doesn't seem very big, but it's fighting different. Oh, tiger shovel nose. Yes. Tiger shovel nose catfish, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, what is this thing? Oh, Boga, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Looks like a clarinet. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the bug on his side right here. Look at that little sea lice on him. Wow. That is the most beautiful catfish I've ever caught. Fishing with worms in the Amazon is so fun because you do not know what you're gonna catch. I literally thought this was, this was whatever. Oh my gosh. It's a tiger shovel nose catfish. Another beautiful exotic catfish here. I just can't get over the colors and the whiskers and its freaking mouth. That is a gorgeous fish. There she goes. Wow, that's awesome. All right guys, this was a interesting day. We started out for peacock bass this morning. No luck there, but we had some worms in the boat. We caught a fair amount. I don't really remember off the top of my head, but I'm probably gonna guess somewhere to five to six species. Um, but my favorite thing that I caught today is probably that red tail. The Paku was really fun. And we were fishing that lagoon over there. We hooked some really big fish on the ultra light rod. Could not stop it and then hook pulled before we could even know what it really was. But we're gonna see what tomorrow brings and maybe go out in the main river using big chunks of fish to try to get a big catfish. Cause we caught a ton of different species, but who knows? All I know is the bugs are getting bad and we better hurry to camp before it gets dark. So I'll we'll see you guys in the morning.
gonna be a wet one today, boys. But we gotta get out there. There's fish to catch. Day two, worm challenge. All we're fishing today is worms and live bait. We're trying to get new species and big fish. We're loading up the boats right now. In the middle of the pouring rain, we're gonna catch them. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back here at the catfish spot. Had a pretty rainy ride here, about an hour and a half, and we are sitting here in this tiny little pool, once again, looking for some big fish. Yesterday, we hooked four fish that were extremely big, and Beto said that he saw some really big catfish here, and he's caught some big ones here before, so here we are. We got four rods, and the difference today, we're gonna be fishing with worms, and uh, Victor and Diego, they're gonna be trying to catch some live fish to put a live, big live bait out there, hopefully get something big. But let's throw out some worms and see what bites. All right, let's grab some of these. Yes, there we go. We're running a little bit low on bait, so we gotta make do. Oh my gosh. Talk about, talk about a freaking big live bait. Even the little freaking baits, look at the, look at the teeth he's got. Look at that. Thing's got some freaking chompers. Now if that doesn't catch a big catfish, I don't know what will. Ooh la la, Victor. Oh, piranha. Small one. I don't know, what's that? So Victor's, it literally, Victor's in the back of the boat catching some bait and he just caught this. <laughs> that, it, that is insane looking. Palometa. What are they called? Palometa. Palometa. Look at that, man. It looks like a Paku, like a sand dollar. I have no idea. Silver dollar. Maybe here? To the left side? Yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he's on again! He's on again! <coughs> Same one. Let's check this rock, because they got pretty tight. Maybe fish? Fish, Adrian. Oh, yeah, it is a fish. We have a fish on. Oh my gosh. Fish on, big fish. On the big live bait. Oh, it's a, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. Big shovel nose. Big shovel nose, big shovel nose. Dude, are you kidding me? All it took was some freaking live bait. Oh my God, double up, double up, double up, double up, double up, double up, double up. Did you get that too? Yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, we, boys, we found him. Guys, this is my line from yesterday. Look at this, this is the same I hooked this fish yesterday. Same braid to my swivel. This is the fish I freaking hooked and lost yesterday. Guys, this is a one in a million catch. I hooked this fish yesterday and I caught it today. And we just hooked an absolute monster and got broke off. Look at that. My rig is in his mouth. Look at that, the same color braid everything these fish are these these fish live here man look at that oh my gosh my rig from yesterday got the hook back got the whole entire rig back so that is a new personal best shovel nose and there's much bigger in here the full shovel nose we're gonna get a giant fish today no doubt Where she goes. Oh, and we got a fresh live bait. 
all yours, buddy. Oh, that is pretty big. I think it's a little bit too big. Yeah. Or maybe not, though. They have big mouths. Let's try them. So we just threw a smaller one of these out, and it got absolutely wrecked. We're going to throw this guy out there. We have a fish. We have a big fish. Big fish. Big fish on the giant live bait. Oh. <laughs> huge, dude. This bait that we threw out there is huge. And it has a, a big fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm scared to see how big this thing is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come here, come here. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We, we have to go. Chase him. Chase him, chase him. Maybe chase him. it's better to stay here. No, because otherwise we, they, they, we get... No. That was a giant. I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. He didn't, he didn't get hooked. Closing out our day, it was a success, catching a wide variety of species and hooking up to some huge fish. We learned that no bait is too big in the Amazon and we have to reevaluate our tackle. Knowing that tomorrow is our last day to complete the challenge and catch my dream fish, we got back to camp and came up with the game plan. I know I was not leaving the Amazon without my dream fish and the next day certainly had something big in store. Alright guys, good morning. It is the next day. We're back in the creek looking for some live bait this morning. Uh, we learned a lot yesterday. We learned that there's some huge catfish here and no bait is too big. So we're getting some live bait. Today we're doing it differently. We have a bucket and we're going to try to keep some bait alive and live bait for some big catfish. If we can get some, some of the fish that we hooked yesterday, that would be incredible. We got some heavier tackle and today we're going to try to finish our Amazon food chain fishing challenge, but we need to catch some bait. So in the back of the boat, we have a cooler and a five gallon bucket and we're starting to fill it up with some live bait. We have a little jungle made cane pole here with some four pound line. And what we do, we hit the water three times. That's what we're catching. They look like little pilchards, jungle pilchards. Great live bait for catfish. Palometa? Mm. No. Mm. They have so many palometas. Adrian, look at how many palometas. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold me. Yes. You are the best. Guys, they just caught the best freaking bait. <laughs> hold them, hold them, hold them. Let, let's, let's put... All right, guys. Oh. Oh, you got oh. something big. He just threw out a piece of corn. Let's see what he's got here. Can it be a palometa? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that right there. It's the ultimate. Is the bait that we need. <laughs> that is the catfish bait <laughs> that we dreamed of last night. And here it is <laughs> by the 20. <laughs> Muchos gracias. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're real. Okay, I got it. Oh, muy grande, muy grande, muy grande, muy grande, muy grande, muy grande. Here we go. This is the bite we were looking for. This is the bite we're looking for. Oh my gosh. This is the bite we're looking for. Oh my god. Get up. Get up. Get up. We're at the leader. We're at the leader. What is it? Giant red tail! Giant red tail! Giant! Giant red tail! Giant red tail! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Give me the bogus. Diego. You have you have your boga. Diego. Diego. <laughs> oh my god. Giant red tail. We were just giving up, man. We we this giant cabbage ate a huge bait. Sorry about that. That was so hectic. None of us expected that. We just finished up lunch, all saying how it literally feels like a frying pan out here, all laying down. And my freaking bait caster just bent over, bent over on a gigantic red toe. I haven't lift him, lifted him out of the water yet. I don't know how big he is, but this is a dream come true, this fish. This, this fish is not a small red tail catfish. We have been grinding so hard. Okay, that's the perfect position for both. 36 pounds. <laughs> Look at that fish. Guys, this is an absolute Amazon giant. I wanted a big red tail when I came here. With the tough conditions, we didn't think it would be possible. And at the moment that we least expected, it happened. Always expect the unexpected. Look at the pattern on its head. Tell me that fish is not, is incredible. What a way to end this video, guys. Amazon food chain fishing challenge. Beautiful red tail catfish. Dream come true. One more left. One more. One more kiss. Mwah. Un besito. What a fish. There she goes. Oh my gosh. Just to make sure I'm not dreaming. And that really happened. What a fish. I lost the croc somewhere. Here it is. Wow. We have been grinding so hard for that moment and it just happened.